start to preparations? Yeah, it was nice to have a hit out on Showgrounds Oval. Some of our, our girls haven't played here before, so nice to sort of get familiar with their surroundings and, and the wicket and things like that. So all in all, I think um, it was a good night. How did you find the wicket? Uh, it was pretty good, to be honest. Uh, there wasn't a hell of a lot of bounce in it, but the, the pace was pretty consistent. Um, sort of came off the bat reasonably quickly if it was wide. Um, you sort of could throw your hands out a little bit, but once the ball got a bit older and softer and sort of targeted the stumps a little bit more, um, perhaps a little bit difficult, but um, all in all, I think it was pretty good with it. Any partnership between you and the as well? Yeah, it was good. Uh, I thought um, Perth did extremely well coming in and taking the, the balls on straight away. That shot over mid on, I think, uh, is something she plays really easily and um, you know then straight away the, the field sort of went back so she sort of took the pressure off me a fair bit um, so it was a nice partnership I guess to, to get us to the end. Pretty pleasing for you too after a couple of lower scores in WSCA? <laughs> yeah it was nice to spend a bit of time out in the middle. Uh, I guess T20 brings you a little bit of freedom and clears the mind a little bit so um, you know it helped me not having to overthink it too much and, and getting in early as well. Um, I don't want to lose early wickets but uh, for me to get out in the middle and, and spend some time in the centre was, was good and a good confidence booster. How does this help you guys? Obviously, you now you go and play this tri-series. What what does this kind of win really mean to you guys? Is it a little bit of a, it's really just a bit of a, a warm up, a get, the, get the cobwebs out? Yeah, it is. We haven't played cricket together for a little while as a squad, so it's good to get back together. And, and tonight really was about just getting used to the conditions and getting a feel for them. So um, yeah, it was good for our bowlers. I think everyone had a, a crack at it um, and what works and what doesn't. Even even batting out in the middle, there were certain areas where we felt we could hit easier than others, um, both with the wicket and um, there was a bit of breeze in the first innings as well. So it was just getting a bit of information, I guess, about the ground and, and things like that. And I thought, um, yeah, we got what we needed out of it. Did you, um, what information did you get from Annabelle then? She obviously had a bit of a bowl, had a bit of a bat, what did you make? Yeah, I thought she was striking the ball really nicely. You know, I was unlucky to, to get out. Um, she certainly hit it well and her bowling, um, she's, she's pretty good when the ball gets a little bit older, I think, and sort of can hit the deck and, and target those stumps. So uh, she's been doing that role really well for Victoria and, and the Stars. So she looked comfortable, she didn't look overawed at all. Um, so it was nice to see her out there. Given this ground is a bit of an unknown, how much research and planning are you doing or speaking to the curators to try and figure out how it might play on Feb 21? Yeah, as much as we can. There's not a lot of data on um, women's games at this venue, so it's sort of hard to get a read on um, you know, whether those those facts actually are something worth looking into or not. So um, yeah, I guess it's just from our experience tonight. And um, yeah, really, the fundamentals don't change too much. Um, you've got to bowl well and, and put partnerships together with the bats. So um, yeah, we'll try and get as much information as we can, but at the end of the day, it's about putting, putting a good performance out there um, when it counts. You played against a lot of pace bowlers tonight, but India probably will field a lot more spinners. Would you prefer to face a bit more spin tonight, maybe? Oh, I don't think it, it matters too much. Um, we had a bit of a centre wicket out here before with some spinners, and um, it was just sort of getting a gauge on that. Um, so I think, you know, whether it's spin or pace, it's good to, to spend some time out in the middle and just get a feel for it. So uh, I think we got exactly what we wanted out of it. You had a couple of injuries heading into probably Saturday as well. How are, how are those guys going? Yeah, everyone's coming along nicely. Um, so it's sort of a day-by-day -day thing with, with a few of them. Um, so we'll just have to play it by ear at, at the moment, but everyone's sort of tracking along nicely how we want them to. Um, Taylor was bowling fast today in the nets and um, she's eager to get back out there. So um, yeah, we're, we're happy with where everyone's at. Um, we feel like we'll have a good squad to select from come Saturday. It's a bit of a concern with Ash getting another concussion. Well, it's not ideal. Um, yeah, it was a little bit unlucky yesterday. Um, who wasn't paying as much attention as she, she should have been, unfortunately. Um, but she's, she's OK. Um, we're just sort of being you know, precautionary with her and making sure she's OK. So um, there's steps that she'll need to go through to be fit for Saturday, but um, Doc's all over that and she'll make sure that she's ready to go. What happens now? When do you guys head to Canberra? And West? Yeah, we go to Canberra tomorrow. Um, so we've got a, a couple of days there before we get into training, uh, I think Thursday. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're looking forward to that. Um, there's been a lot of talk and, and hype around this series and, and I think the girls are just ready to get stuck in and play cricket. That's what we do best and what we enjoy doing. So we're pretty happy that it's, it's, it's very close. Is this Tri-Series a nice way to get into things with a few rest days, with a slower pace compared to what the World Cup's going to be like? Yeah, the World Cup's pretty hectic. Um, pretty much play every third day with some travel in there. So um, it is nice to spend some time in one place and um, be able to get some good training in and um, get a feel for the conditions. So uh, yeah, we're making the most of uh, the tempo, I guess, of, of where we're at at the moment because World Cups are, are very busy and um, yeah, there's, there's a lot going on. So we need to make sure we're ready for that.